Shifting focus to India. Manipur, the violence hit northeastern state in India, is witnessing fresh instances of arson. On Wednesday, a mob set at least 30 homes and shops ablaze in Manipur's More district, including a forest department guest house. The arson took place in the, the Bazara area of the district, which is close to the Myanmar border. Officials say a gun battle took place following the arson. However, the security forces intervened and dispersed the mob before the situation could worsen. This comes the day after two buses used by security forces were set on fire by a mob. Nine people, including a minor, were arrested in connection with the incident of torturing the buses. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh says that the construction of the houses or which, which, are, which is being done for the displaced people is almost complete. Taking to Twitter, he said, very soon families from relief camps will be able to move into these homes. The state government is taking up all possible measures to, rehab to rehabilitate the people affected by the recent violence, both in the hills and the valley. <laughs> the ethnic violence in the northeastern state began nearly three months ago. On the 3rd of May, over 160 people have been killed and thousands have been displaced. The violence in Manipur is echoing in the national capital, New Delhi, as well. The opposition alliance has moved a motion of no confidence against Prime Minister Modi's government over his silence on the matter. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha, the lower house of the Indian Parliament, has also accepted the no confidence motion. Speaker Om Birla said that the date for the vote would be scheduled after discussing with the party leaders.